fears over H3N2 has been spreading like wildfire in the country. Is it just another flu or it can be as threatening as coronavirus? We spoke to Mumbai's top pulmonologist and chest physician to spread the right awareness. Firstly, let's hear out what exactly is H3N2. So basically, this H3N2 is a virus which belongs to the family of influenza viruses. So influenza virus is a virus which has many subtypes. So earlier, if you recollect, in 2009, there was a pandemic which had actually a variant called as H1N1. There are a lot of variants. H3N2 is just a variant of influenza virus, which keeps on circulating throughout the globe. Current pandemic is caused by H3N2. A lot of the times it can be H3N2, H1N1, H5N2, multiple variants. This is currently H3N2. This brings us to the question. Where did this virus originate at the first place? Any kind of different animal and human interference. So these viruses, when they jump from an animal or a bird to a human, they combine together and they form a new virus. Concerns have mounted and people are worried. Could it be as massive as coronavirus? Should we be really worried? The severity with influenza is much lesser than severity with COVID. COVID is actually a coronavirus. Influenza is a different virus compared to COVID. So what is the difference between these two viruses? A. Influenza has been there across the globe right through ages and ages. So people have actually get infected with influenza a lot of times. So we have developed some kind of immunity towards that virus. So generally, the influenza viruses, whenever we have, whenever we contract those kind of a viruses, we don't have so much of you know, dangerous symptoms. We generally have cough, we have fever, we have runny nose for a couple of days. Within a couple of days, generally our body starts reacting, fighting to the disease and then the disease wanes off. Only in few select population, like people who are very young, children or elderly people, because their immunity is not really good, they do tend up, end up getting a lot of severe disease. I'm talking about influenza. When we talk about coronavirus, throughout the history, coronavirus has not been very, very predominant in our generation. So what happens is we don't have developed those kind of antibodies or immunity towards that virus. So when that wave happened, we were not immune to that virus. So initially, a lot of people had a lot of problems. But as and when you know the, the immunity started developing and obviously vaccination played a big, big role, gradually the virus subsided. But influenza is different. We have already a lot of immunity. So that way, is, you know, that's a big difference that the severity with influenza is much lesser than severity with COVID. But what happens is every year, the antigen mutation or antigenic shift happens in influenza. So whenever new strain comes, we are not immune to that. So we end up developing a disease, but gradually our antibody starts developing and then we don't have that problem. Well, it is really important to dissect facts from fiction and choose prevention over panic. Stay happy, stay healthy and stay tuned to midday. Subscribe to Midday India. Get direct notifications on all our videos by clicking on the bell icon.